Hey everybody and welcome back to Crafty Made Easy. For this video, we'll be trying out koala paper. If you're interested to see what I do with this paper, stand by. by koala paper to try out some of their products and the first one they sent me um, was their water slide decal paper so when they asked me to uh, review their product test it out on a couple things and then to show my subscribers what I think of course I said yes because I like to try new things and I like products and I like to craft and if I can find something that's easy to use sign me up so they sent me this water slide decal paper it is white matte 8 by 5 by 11. I'm excuse me. I say 8 by 5. 8.5 by 11. It came with five sheets. Um, the bonus thing, inkjet and laser. So you can use it with both those printers. You don't have to buy separate paper for your inkjet or separate paper for your laser. You can use it for both of them. And the creme de la creme, no need spray. So you don't have to use any clear spray with this decal paper now this is the white matte so it will have a white background um i'm i think they have clear but they didn't send me the clear so i can't speak on the clear i can only speak on what they sent me today which was the white matte um but yeah they have step-by-step -step instructions one through six so real easy to use and i'll just read them out to you really quickly not saying that y'all you know got a problem but i is I gotta advertise the product, y'all. So um, it's not like you in class and they reading a PowerPoint to you. Um, so I mean, I gotta tell y'all about the product and stuff like that. But anyway, um, you can put it on. It says applications ideal for using on hard, smooth substrates such as ceramics, glass, plastic, metal, jade, bamboo, etc. Not suitable for textile, fabric, or uneven surfaces. Compatible with both inkjet and laser printers and do not spray clear coating over the printed image. So right there, those are two positives for me. Well, three because ceramics, glass, plastics, metal, jade, bamboo, etc. So it sounds like you could put it on a lot of different surfaces. So that's the positive. Compatible with both in, um, printers. We talked about that. That's the positive. And the most positive thing for me is you don't have to spray it because that is my main pet peeve with water slide is that I always have to spray it with the clear, especially if I'm using an inkjet because I don't have a colored laser printer. So I use my color inkjet printer and you always have to spray it with the clear coat. And sometimes I get caught up. I'm like, should I do five minutes, then wait, five minutes, then wait, five minutes, then wait. Or can I just spray it and then um use it or do i have to wait 30 minutes do i have to wait overnight so it gets real confusing on how you're supposed to really use regular water slide because many people have different rules for water slide um i even did a video on water slide and um it came out okay but when you do it the first couple times sometimes your ink can smear and then you're wasting product but this you don't have to worry about that so anyway all right, so instructions. Step one. So it says the printable side is more smooth and wider than the back side. Make sure to print on the corrected side. So I'm not sure if you'll be able to. Oh, I already took it out the pad. What did I do with it? Oh, carry on. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it. I have half of what I already used. So let's show, I'm going to show you this. So this is the side you'll print on. And then this is the side you won't print on so this side feels more like regular paper and then this side feels a lot more smoother and then this side is a little bit brighter and this side is kind of matte so you'll be able to um, figure out what side to print on very easily um, for inkjet printer settings printer type is photo paper print quality is standard so you don't have to use best or um what is it on mac um y'all know the settings on mac i can't remember off the top of my head but you don't have to use any of that. Um, laser printer settings, media weight, heavy, label paper, thick paper, and the thickest paper move. So, um, 
I don't use my laser printer for those purposes, but if you have the laser printer, that makes sense to you. Step two, you'll cut out the image with a scissor. Um, tips, the edges left around the image will show white, and that's because this is white um, water slide and not clear. Step three, submerge the decal into the water for a little moment, then slightly slide the decal in the water using your thumb and forefinger. If the decal film and the backing paper can be slid easily and smoothly, then go on to step four. Tips, do not completely separate the decal film from the backing in the water before applying it to the surface. So just like other water slide, it's the same thing. You'll just move it a little bit until you can feel it pulling and then you'll put it on your, um, your um, surface. Step four, put some water on the surface for easier sliding. Take the decal out of the water, then set it on the ideal position of your substrate. Gently hold one side of the decal in your left thumb and slide the back sheet with your right thumb and forefinger. Tips, if it's still not easy to slide off the decal film, put more water on the decal and the surface. So again, common steps for a regular um, water slide. Step five, slightly position the decal to the right spot, then use your fingers or a damp paper, card, towel, or a mini squeegee to gently remove air bubbles and excess water. So pretty much the same. Tips, if it's not easy to reposition the image, put some water on the image and the surface. Step six, if the substrate is high temperature resistant, you need to bake it in an oven at 230 for 10 to 15 minutes. For other nine high temperature resistant substrates, we recommend using a hair dryer to make it dry sooner. Attention, it is not dishwasher safe. Please wash by hand. Do not scratch the decal. And um, three, please finish the transfer as soon as possible after printing. So those are the steps. I printed out two images. So right here. And I got those off of Cricut Design Space. And just a side note, I know I'm probably late to the game, but when did Cricut start allowing us to print eight by 11 images? I love it. Um, but anyway, <laughs> I'll probably still use something else to print bigger images, but for the eight by 11s, I will probably just use my Cricut because it's just easier because I'm always using it. But um, that was just a side note. Anyway, I have a phone case right here. I think I purchased this one off of Etsy. The other ones I purchased, oh, the other ones I purchased mostly off of Shein. Um, but this one I think I purchased off of Etsy. So. All right, y'all. So I'm going to just do exactly what the directions told me to do. And I am going to submerge the decal in the water. Let me move my water over. So I'm just going to submerge it into the decal. I mean, mm, into the decal, into the water for a little moment. It doesn't say how long. Um but I'm just gonna sit it in here until it starts to move. So far, so good. I'm not, sh I'm sure you can see it. It's not bleeding. The ink is not bleeding or anything like that. Um, and this was, I did not spray anything on here. Like nothing was sprayed on here at all. Um, I believe I printed it on the right side. <laughs> so, um, but yeah. Nothing was sprayed on here. Nothing is leaking. And another thing with um, other water slides that I have used, I've noticed like if I um, cut the image out or touch the image, I should say, once I print it, it can smear. This water slide, I was able to touch it while I was cutting around the image and nothing smeared. So... That is a plus for me. All right, so this is already trying to slide off. Okay, so it's sliding off, so that didn't really take that long. Um, go ahead and wet my cut, and move my water out the way, move my cup more into the camera so y'all can see. And like I said, this is white water slide. So we just gonna slide that puppy off. It's moving around pretty good. Yeah, I like this. Oh yeah, I like this. Let me just... <laughs> Yo, I like this. Y'all. Let me tell y'all how I like this. 
Okay, so since this one, it says if your if the substrate is high temperature resistant, you need to bake it in the oven for at 230 for 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm assuming they mean the ceramics, you have to bake it. So I will put this in the oven um, for um, 10 to 15 minutes so it can dry. Um, but if you're not comfortable with doing that, just take a hair dryer and they said just kind of use that to make it dry um, sooner. But y'all, look at that. Nothing moved. Like none of the ink smeared. None of the nothing moved. Now I will dry this and show y'all um, what it looks like as far as with, with it being dry. So um, that will be, of course, at the end of the video because I just put it on the cup. But... That, I think that is the first time I have ever put on water slide that easy. Y'all, I like that. I like that a lot. Let's do the phone case. Let me wipe up some of this water. Y'all, I like that. And um, if I will have the link for the um, koala paper in my description box below, along with a 15% discount code. Um, if you just use the code C made easy. Um, it will give you a 15% discount at the, um, not about to say at the register, at checkout. <laughs> sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. But it will give you, if you put in the code C Made Easy, it will give you a 15% discount at the checkout. So um, this is the first product I have tried for them. And honestly, I can just say I like this paper. I don't know about any of their other products, but if they turn out as good as this um decal paper hmm i'm gonna be um buying it i will be getting me some more of this paper but i want clear versus white um just for my own personal preference i would prefer clear but you can use white um and it, it won't be an issue like this one with the phone case in that picture right there, I, my finger is on the in the water, so I can't use my other finger. But it makes it look like it's a sticker. So that I mean that's cool. I like that. So you would just have to use your um, cutting machine to kind of cut around it cleaner, which is not a problem if you have a cutting machine. So I'm taking the other one out of the water because it's ready. That didn't take long at all to um, come from the backing. And then I'm going to do the same exact thing I did with the um, cup. Just slide that off. All right, now I made this one a little too big. I could have cut around it a little bit more. Um, but yeah, y'all, let me tell y'all. <laughs> and I'm not just saying that because they gave me the paper. I'm... Like, if it was trash, I'd have told y'all it was trash. But, okay. So, y'all, I like this. And I'm not just saying it because they gave me the paper. I really like this. Because this is the first time I have ever put on um, water slide this easy. Now, I ended up ripping it right here. I'm not sure if y'all can really see it. But I ended up ripping it. Um, but that was me. I don't know. I think I um mushed it up and then pulled it too hard so just be careful not to rip it but other than that it went on fine it was just me being too aggressive with it but um as you see the cup and the phone case both of them slid on very easily uh i legit like this paper i am going to go ahead and dry this i'm gonna dry the phone case with the um blow dryer on my um let me see should i did it say yeah, I'm going to just use the hair dryer because you know that heat gun gets too hot sometimes. So I'm going to use the um, blow dryer to dry this one. And then I'm going to put this one in the oven uh, for the recommended time. And then I will come back and show y'all what it what the final um, outcome is, y'all. Okay, be right back. Okay, y'all. So I did go ahead and put this cup into the oven on 230 for 15 minutes. Um, it came out nice and smooth. So everything is still smooth. It still has all of the color, all of the shine. Um, again, this is a matte uh, finish on the water slide paper. So it will not come out like um, shiny, I should say, glossy. Um, but it will come out matte because that's what the water slide is. And it is very smooth. The only thing is it's this little tiny, teeny, tiny corner. I'm not even sure if I have it in the camera. 
is lifted up like you can barely see it so i probably would put maybe um put a little water on there and then um use the blow dryer to dry it maybe that will lay it down but it's like so tiny you can't even see it but um i have not tried to wash it or anything like that because i'm just going to let it sit for 24 hours and then i'll see how it does with um you know hand washing and stuff like that but so far so good um it's nicely on the cup it's smooth it's not moving as you see i keep rubbing it pulling it it's not moving it's on the cup um the phone case this was drying before i even had to pull out the blow dryer um but it's still smooth it's not moving on the uh, phone case now again i did rip this right here i was pulling it too aggressively so i will say to just you know take your time when uh, moving the water slide into a, the right spot that you want it um don't pull it too hard because it may rip as you see here but um other than that everything else is fine i um, use the blow dryer over it I want to say less than a minute because honestly by the time I went downstairs to put the cup into the oven this was already drying like it was really it was like dry from here to here and I only had to use the blow dryer on like a little corner so it was like less than a minute that I used the blow dryer on it so um my takeaways from this particular water slide paper I like it the bonus for me like I said is that I do not have to spray um and, and when I pulled it out of the printer, it was pretty much dry. The ink did not rub off. Um, when I accidentally like touched it while cutting it, my ink didn't rub off. I didn't have to wait for it to dry. I didn't have to spray anything on there and then wait for that to dry. And then if you cut it before you put the spray on, it might adhere, like all of that other stuff, I didn't have to worry about. Um, as you saw, the application was See, it was easy. Like it wasn't even in the water that long before it started pulling away from the backing and it slid on beautifully onto the cup and the phone case. I literally have never used water slide that easily. <laughs> like literally. Um, so in my book, I would say it is a plus. The negative, it is just like a little bit fragile because um, but I mean all water slide is a little bit fragile because it did rip a little bit when I pulled it. Um and it didn't really give instructions on how long to blow dry it or the water temperature. But at this point, I'm kind of nitpicking um, because I, I like the product, y'all. And I'm not just saying it because they gave it to me. I really like the product. And if I had to purchase it on my own, I definitely would. Um, so, yeah, like I said, they did give me a discount code for all of my subscribers and for those who are not my subscribers and just watching the video. But... I don't know why y'all be watching and y'all not subscribed. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, please. It's just, boop, less than a second. Um, So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But if you are watching and um, are you are already subscribed, the discount code, again, will be C Made Easy. And um, I think it's C Made Easy 15 or just C Made Easy. It'll be down there in the description box. And I'll also put it across the screen. Um, because you know my memory ain't what it used to be so but it'll be across the screen and it'll also be down in the description box below along with the link where you can go ahead and purchase this koala paper um i would say walk don't run because you know some people are clumsy and then it's wet outside it's been raining here um like almost every day this week so i don't want y'all to slip and fall but i would say go ahead and purchase this product as quickly as you can um anyway y'all if you are not subscribed to my channel like i already said please go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you like this video please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and also hit the notification bell to be notified when i drop new videos also if you are not already in my uh, facebook crafting group go ahead and enter the crafting group um when we hit 10,000 subscribers i will be doing a giveaway so um go ahead and join the group because i will have all of the information listed in that group it is crafting made easy same spelled the same way as this youtube channel um go ahead and answer the three questions and i will let you into the group all right y'all i hope y'all have a blessed and beautiful day i hope y'all have a blessed and beautiful week and until next time y'all